Hello guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, that our topic for today is computing the magnitude and the direction of the vector. The magnitude and the direction are the parts of the vector. So, when we say magnitude, it is the length of the vector, while the direction is the angular rotation of the vector. So, let me teach you how to find the magnitude and the direction of the vector. But first, we have to draw it in graphical representation first. So, shall we draw the Cartesian plane? Okay. So, the horizontal axis represents the x-axis, while the vertical represents the y-axis. Okay, so shall I draw the vectors? Po? Okay, so since 2 is the first value, it lies on the x-axis. So, ganito. Ah, right, kasi positive. Since 9 is positive, shall we move up? However, ganito ang direction. Kasi pag tumama siya dito, syempre, 90 degrees siya. Kaya, ito yung magiging position ni 9. Okay, so our goal is to find the magnitude and the direction. So, what we're going to do is use the concept of the Pythagorean theorem to find the magnitude. But before that, Let's denote this first. So the name of the vector is V. We shall place V under two bars, beside bars. Okay? However, when we say direction, theta. Okay? So to look for this magnitude, we're going to apply the concept of Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to square the values each. Then, place the plus sign. So, what is the square of 2? It is 4. What is 9 squared? It will be 81. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to add what's inside the square root. So, our magnitude is the square root of 85. When we say the direction, we're going to find the inverse of tangent of 9 over 2. So what we're going to do is to use the scientific calculator to perform this operation so we will no longer be having a hard time. So 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. Then what we're going to do is go to the shift mode to press the tangent. Then, tada! So approximately, it is 77.47 degrees. So as we see, that the direction is 77.47 degrees. Okay? So, that is how we find the magnitude and the direction of the vector. We're going to apply this concept in another example. Okay, so, tada! So... We're going to convert this to the other form. So, 3, then negative 4. Okay, so what we're going to do is to draw first the graphical representation. Okay, so same process pa rin po. Okay, so what we're going to do is to draw 3. So, since it's positive, it moves to the right, right? However, since 4 is negative, we should draw down. Down right. Okay? So, that is the graphical representation of the vector. If the value of the vector is negative, we can draw down or left. Okay? So, now what we're going to do is the same way. So, this is the magnitude. 
then this is the direction. So what we're going to do for the magnitude is apply the concept of Pythagorean theorem. So what is 3 squared? 9. What is negative 4 squared? It shall be 16. Then what are we going to do is to add what's inside the square root. So what is the square root of 25? It shall be 5. Then what we're going to do for the direction is look for the inverse of tangent of negative 4 over 3. So what tool we're going to use is the scientific calculator pa rin. So, tada, it's negative 53.13 degrees approximately. Since this lies in the fourth quadrant, so we shall add with 360. Therefore, the answer is 306.82. Okay, so that is the direction of this vector and that is the magnitude of this vector. So do not forget to subscribe my math channel. So happy learning.